I'm Sean Newsom with Seabotics, and we manufacture tethered underwater remotely operated vehicles or ROVs. These are typically, uh, you can think of it as kind of like an underwater helicopter. They're tethered because we need a tether to bring high uh, bandwidth data to the surface through water. So there'll be a, some ROV, one of our models, a tether heading to a control console where they will see all of the video and any sensor data as well, and that's being recorded for them. Well, you know, divers don't want to have to go into hazardous environments if they don't have to. Uh, they have to deal with decompression, depending on the depths they're at. They're dealing with currents, they're uh, inside of infrastructure or underneath ship holes, which can also be hazardous. So they'll use these systems uh, wherever they can so they don't have to put themselves in those types of situations. Actually, a hybrid vehicle, you have an underwater ROV, and when you're doing mid-water or on the bottom type of inspections or salvage, you'll use just the ROV itself with its sensors. Those sensors will include video cameras, lights, acoustic imaging sonars, which are used to see in zero visibility. Uh, they'll have tracking systems as well, so they'll know their location. Some of the systems are, we are now offering with what we call Smart Flight, which is a semi-autonomy package that allows them to return to targets by pushing a button or hold station or have auto height or do waypoint navigation. We have a very unique system. Both of these vehicles uh, have a crawler skid, and we have a patented vortex generator on the bottom. When they want to do a hull or infrastructure inspection, they will mount this on the ROV. When they approach the uh, ship hull, for example, they can roll the vehicle, activate the vortex generator, and it will attract a 22 to 28 kilogram of attractive force on the hull. The advantage there is there's no relative motion between the ship hull, which may be heaving in seas and have currents going by, and the sensor. So they get perfect sensor data, perfect video, and if they need to, they can set the controls down and relax or adjust their sensors. Yeah, this is called our integrated navigation and control console. Uh, this is the hand controller for either model. We are looking at the video, sonar, the tracking data, some vehicle diagnostics here. All of that is recorded to a PC so they can review that data later. Uh, it's also got some it's splash proof, which is really useful because often these are operated in small ribs. Also, another nice feature is it's basically a, a, a PC, so they can use uh, other sensors on here, which reduces the footprint on the boat because they're able to run their uh, sensors like side scan sonar or upload data from their AUVs as well into our tracking system. Well, we're based in San Diego, California, which is a great place to be located, not only because our, a lot of our clients are there, but also we're waterfront. We have a waterfront training facility, but we're in the very southwest corner of the United States. ADS has multiple sales reps that are visiting all of our clients on the East Coast and West Coast on a re regular basis, something that would be very difficult for us to do. And we share a lot of data between each other, and we, and we work really well, and they've helped facilitate a lot of the orders that we receive from our military clients in particular.